I used to work as a model for 16 years. I work as a photographer for 12 years or 13 years now. One of the most frequently asked questions I always get is how do you find models, especially for stock, do you pay them? How do you find models for free since I'm just starting out? All of it will be answered in today's video in great detail, as always. For the new faces, my name is Stenka Derola. I make tutorials, fun vlogs, and fun creative camera challenges, so you might want to hit the subscribe button. Finding a model is never easy task, especially if you're a new photographer just starting out. I admit I've been shooting for years, and sometimes I feel quite uncomfortable contacting somebody new, so you are certainly not alone there. In today's video, I will explain what the difference is between friends as a models, amateur models and professional models. I will tell you how to find them and where I'll share a sample letter which you can actually send to potential models. Lastly, I will answer a question. What is your arrangement with models and do you pay them? Let's dive right into it. The first and obvious group you might ask to model for you is your friends while they already know you. Uh, you must keep in mind though that they will fully expect you to direct them because they might not know how to pose in front of the camera. Secondly, also their wardrobe might be quite limited. And thirdly, they will probably not know how to do a proper makeup for the camera. But the chance that they will show up is very high because hey, they are your friends and they will do it for you. Second group number two is amateur models. Now this group will be hit and miss. Um, some of the new amateur models, they have zero experience. And again, they have no idea how to pose, so they will fully rely on you when it comes to posing. Other amateur models might know a little bit how to pose and how to be on the other side of the camera. I'm still finding that their wardrobe is quite limited. And uh, also, they are very stiff at the beginning and it takes them a little bit time to warm up. So when you plan a shoot with new model, amateur model, you should do first set just to warm up, just to get to know how she is or he is on the other side of the camera and for them to actually get a chance to see how you are working with them as well. And then the second set should be already what you are planning. Now the advantage of working with amateur models is that they don't really have any bad habits when it comes to posing. So I still have a lot of freedom in my hands when it comes to steering them in the direction I want. I've heard from different photographers that, that they recommend uh, that you actually place a mirror in front of a model so uh, the model can see themselves if they are posing. I don't recommend it because when you are shooting a model, she will be always checking herself out, always looking at herself in a camera and you will get a lot of missed shots where you won't have her eyes looking directly in the lens. So please do yourself a humongous favor. Learn the hard way. I know it's difficult at the beginning, but the more you shoot, the easier it's gonna get. Um, learn how to direct people. You will become a great photographer when you know that skill. Unfortunately, with amateur models, there is 50% chance they will not show up. And quite honestly, if they don't show up, I don't even bother emailing them back unless they contact me, explain why they didn't show up in the first place and they ask for a second chance. Sometimes they don't show up simply because they are scared. They are very nervous and that's normal. They are starting out. There's a lot of insecurities, especially women. They have a lot of insecurities. With male models, even amateur male models is a completely different story. I never ever had no show. I always have 100% show. They are highly, highly reliable. They always have all the wardrobe. I ask them, they follow directions. They're just very professional right from the beginning. Professional models are not free. If you hire a professional model, they will show up most likely because, hey, you offer money. Their wardrobe selection will be quite good. Usually it is very good. Also, they will know very well, usually, how to do makeup and hair for the camera. 
Um, they will also know how to pose and how to communicate with photographer quite well. Although some models which do it for a very long time will have their favorite poses and it will be a little bit difficult to steer them in a direction you want. Uh, not all, but I've had that happen a few times already. Well, where can you find the models? Start by asking your friends. Keep in mind one thing though. If you have to push them too much to force for you, if you have to convince them a little bit too much, don't bother because they will most likely feel pretty uncomfortable in front of the camera. If you are planning on using your friends for stock photography, think of the professions they do, think of the hobbies um, they do because first of all they will already have the wardrobe for it and props and secondly it will be very authentic, it will be very real, they will look very realistic, they will look very comfortable and that's the key to lifestyle photos for stock. Next would be ask friends of your friends, ask friends to refer your friends, ask friends of their friends. Uh, you understand, right? <laughs> Go on social media. Facebook, for example, has many modeling groups. All you have to do is just type in uh, your city modeling group. So for me, it would be Toronto modeling group. Instagram is also very popular when it comes to models. So you just have to use the hashtag your city model or hashtag uh, your city photographer. So again, I would type in hashtag Toronto model or hashtag Toronto photographer. Many photographers tag their models in their shots and this way you can actually see how much that model is working or what models are right now popular between photographers. For easier search, such as by category, by experience, by age, for example, you can use sites like modelmayhem.com or modelmayhem.ca or here in Canada I also use starnow.ca. Um, because I'm also looking for very real commercial looking models, just very nice smile, friendly smile and friendly face. I place ads on places like Kijiji. You would be surprised how many great models I found there. I actually found some professional models there as well. Great models would be also actors and dancers. Uh, whenever I see a model which is posing very well, I always ask them if they have a dance background. So anybody with dance background, uh, moves very nicely in front of the camera. Also actors, they will give you any expression you want pretty much. So they are the ideal, ideal models for stock. And you know what? Actors are always looking for to update their headshot. Modeling agencies, mainly new modeling agencies are always looking for free testing for their new faces. Now, you have to be very careful here though. I've had pretty much every time a model showing up from an agency to my shoot and then I asked them, they had no idea why they came. They had no idea their photos will be published. They had no idea their photos will be used for stock. That can be extremely dangerous for a photographer because down the road, if the model changes an agency and uh, finds somewhere herself or himself being published, you will end up answering a lot of questions. So make sure, please make sure, before the agent sends you any model, talk to the agent, make sure the agent explains the model everything in great detail because you will be covered, you will be much safer. Lastly, if you are not shy, you can ask strangers. I found really great models in shopping malls, even, even in grocery store. I just carry my business cards and also introductory letter, which explains everything in great detail. How do you contact new model? How should the initial email look like? Well, first of all, if someone is going to send me a message, email or DM just saying, what's up? Uh, I'm a photographer. I'm going to take pictures of you. Are you up to it? I'm not gonna even bother responding back because to me it just looks like some kind of a guy wants to have fun instead of being a real professional photographer. If you want to win over a model or new face, uh, you might need to put in a little bit more effort. The initial email should look something like this. Hello, I hope you're doing well. My name is such and such. My portfolio is at this address and I was wondering if you would be interested in doing a stock shoot with me. It is TFP based. I will give you a free set of choice or so headshot. Plus, there is also a great chance to be published which means getting more terror sheets. I am including samples of what I have in mind doing with you. I have this date in mind and the location is this address and here's a list of models I worked in the past which are my references. 
To make your life easier, I actually prepared this sample letter for you and you can download it in the video description below, so feel free to grab it. Just change it so it works for you. Once you communicate with the model back and forth, make sure he or she knows that they will need to sign a model release. Some of the models might even ask you if you can send them that model release by email for the review, which is completely normal. Um, they just want to know what they are going to be signing. Now to the big question, what arrangement do I have with my models? Do I pay them? How you should do it? Should you pay them? Well, this can be different from photographer to photographer. Since I was on the other side of the camera as well, I pretty much know how it feels there. And I also know that as a model, there are expenses as well. Makeup is not cheap. You have to get different wardrobe quite often because you can maybe use it two, three, four times for, um, for a shoot and then you have to replace it. There are also transportation expenses and any other. For the new faces, which are just building their portfolio, I offer TFP. Um, if I'm shooting something specific for stock, which is not exactly beneficial for the model's portfolio, I always tell them, please bring extra wardrobe. We will shoot something which you actually need for your portfolio. Or if it is an actor, they always need headshots. So I ask them if that's what they need in exchange for their time. If I'm taking photos of my friends, they might need a family portrait or something like that. So always ask the other person, ask the model what they need in exchange for this trade. When I shoot somebody new for stock and they prove to be good sellers and I want them to come back for more stock shoots, um, then I offer them payment. I come up with an amount which feels right and comfortable for me and I also give them photos as well. I never ask even the professional models what their rate is. I always say, look, this is my budget. This is how much can I afford and I can give you photos as well. Now, when it comes to hiring models for stock, I always highly suggest to do this quick TFP non-paying test first because sometimes many models show up and they look nothing like in the photos you've seen um, when they submitted their photos. Sometimes they have long hair in the photos, they show up with the short hair or simply their body is a little bit different. There's simply way too much Photoshop or their personality doesn't click or they are not good models in front of the camera or the worst case scenario, you actually upload the photos on stock and you realize that they are not selling anything for you. They are not sellable models. They don't like them. So when you do this test shoot and you realize that they are good sellers, then you can hire them and then do the full creative shoot for stock. When you deal with models, they're humans just like you. So please be honest and be very detailed. A lot of models have no idea what stock photography is. And once they see themselves somewhere on a big billboard, they think that they will get paid big money. But if you explain the model exactly what stock photography is, how you are getting paid, how much you are getting paid, there will be no hard feelings down the road once they see themselves published. Big no, no, never shoot models for stock naked or in a sexual way because the photos might show up being used somewhere inappropriately. What happens, a lot of buyers don't bother reading licensing terms thoroughly, so they might just end up using the photo in their bad ad and then you will be the one who will be in trouble, even though it's not your fault. So stay away from it, uh, rather just shoot uh, lifestyle and business and all the other stuff which are safe. Well, those were my honest tips when it comes to working with models or also finding the models for stock photography. Give it a thumbs up if you liked today's video and subscribe for all future videos. Don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you know when the next video is up. Also, let me know in the comment section below what is your experience working with models or if you want to say hello, please do so. You know that I always read all the comments and I'll say hello back. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Ahoy.